Today, I'm going to show you three ways to dry your dog at home just like a professional pet groomer. I'm also going to show you the method of drying dogs that is very dangerous to your dogs, so stick around for that. Did you ever notice how soft, fluffy, and beautiful your dog is when you pick it up from the groomer? By the end of this video, you are going to have not one, but three professional options to dry your dog at home just like a professional pet groomer. Affordable products and flawless results. Let's get to it. Today I'm going to demonstrate these three techniques on this golden doodle named Gus. His coat is very dirty and I need you to see this before we start. The prerequisite to a flawless fluff dry is definitely the perfectly prepared coat. So before you attempt to dry your dog, you must go back and watch my videos on how to properly bathe your dog first. Okay, how about I just link it in the card and in the description and you can go watch it later. Let's get back to how we're gonna dry our dogs like a professional. The first method, the absorber towel. This product is linked below. This is how it works. This super absorbent towel works continuously as you're drying your dog. You just keep blotting your dog dry in the tub and wring out your absorber towel and continue to use it. You just keep drying it. It works best when it's damp. I am a professional pet pet groomer and I traded in all of my bathing towels. Got rid of them all and I only use a handful of absorber towels every day to dry the pets that I groom in my professional grooming salon. And guess what my friends, the absorber towel is available to you too. There is a link in the description below. Please go check it out and do yourself a favor. The next magical method of drying your dog is a high velocity force dryer. This is one of the safest methods of drying your dog because it does not use a heated element. It basically forces the water from the skin away from your dog's coat, drying your dog 10 times faster than you could with any fluff dryer. Another benefit to using a force dryer is it allows you to see right to your dog's skin and it will tell you if there's any irritation or ticks or problems that you should be aware of. It's just a great tool. Not to mention the de-shedding properties this force dryer has on a double coat such as this Newfoundland or a Bernice Mountain Dog or a Golden Retriever. This will de-shed your dog all while detangling and aerating your dog's coat which makes it extremely fluffy. A force dryer is a very small investment when it comes to double coated breeds especially considering how this breed often has skin allergies and it is really just due to the coat not being blown out properly. Properly. I'm here to tell you that force dryers are available to you too. And here's how you get one. It's linked in the description below. This is one that I use in my shop every day. It sells for around $179. It has a switch for slight warming and it is also a variable speed blower, which gives you the power to control the airflow. So whether you're drying an eight pound Yorkie or 150 pound Newfoundland, you have the power to adjust the speed of the airflow, which, which really gives you a lot of control. Speaking of airflow, this dryer comes with three different condenser nozzles. And of course, you can always use it without a condenser nozzle at all. And with all these options, it makes this particular force dryer model the only force dryer you would need to dry any size of a dog with any coat type. Now for our third drying method today, and I'm very excited to share this one with you guys. This pet dryer is a dryer and slicker brush in one. It's a combination. I really like it. It has adjustable temperature settings, two adjustable temperature settings, and it's really good for your short hair breeds, your medium coated breeds, your long silky breeds. It's, it does a beautiful job. It also does a great job on ears and tails. Combining a slicker brush with a hair dryer is a great idea to fluff dry your dog and have your dog just look really fluffy and silky and professional. It does a really neat job and the dogs seem to enjoy it. Fluffing up those top knots on our poodles or just completely fluff drying your poodle, period. This is a great little tool and it's so inexpensive. So obviously everybody can't afford a professional grade stand dryer and this would kind of replace that. And as we know, slicker brushes do wear out and you can buy replacement slicker brushes 
brush heads for this dryer. I think it's brilliant. Inexpensive, effective way to fluff dry your dog. Now that I've shown you three very effective professional ways to produce quality results on your pets at home, have them look professionally dried, I want to share with you the only method of drying your dog that I definitely discourage. Cage dryers. Cage dryers are dangerous and let me tell you why. You may be unaware that most groomers use cage dryers in their shops. These dryers can be very dangerous because the dogs are put into cages with the dryers hooked onto the front of the crate. So keep in mind that some dogs are not even accustomed to being in crates at home or anywhere. They're just not used to it. So they're already upset about being in the crate with this loud forced dryer blowing hot air on them in a crate this is a recipe for disaster the dog may be upset his body temperature is up he can't cool himself down maybe he has an underlying health problem that nobody's aware of guess what he could have a heat stroke it's not worth the risk i plead with all groomers to please trade in your cage dryers for safe practices like hand drying force drying fluff drying on the table when you're with the dog at all times please consider this and charge for it you deserve to get paid for the work you do. Pet grooming is a very, very rewarding career, but it is also a very challenging career. And I commend all pet groomers out there. They work hard. We are essential and pets need us. It's up to us as professionals to do the best that we can for them while they are in our care. Thank you for joining me today. Groom safely and I'll see you in the next one.